Hello everyone. Welcome to Engineering and Automation YouTube channel. In today's video, we will be learning about the automatic control system and the two different types of control systems. Automatic control system plays an important role in the development and the advancement of modern civilization and technology. Automation control system is widely used in numerous industrial applications such as manufacturing, automation, space technology, transportation, robotics, etc. In domestic applications, automatic control system is used in heating, ventilation and air conditioning systems to maintain the desired temperature and humidity of modern homes for the comfort of building occupants. Now we will see what is a control system and its different types. A control system is a system that controls the output by regulating its input. The first control system, called the flyball governor, was invented by James Watt in 1788 to control the speed of his steam engine by regulating the supply of steam to the engine. What is the control system? The basic concept of control system is shown here. The objective of this basic control system is to control the variable y in a predefined manner by actuating the signal x through the elements of the control system. In common terms, the control variable is the output of the system and the actuating signal is the input of the system. To understand this, let's take the example of a bicycle handlebar. The direction of the bicycle's front wheels is the controlled output and the position of the handlebar is the input. Similarly, if the objective is to control the speed of the bicycle, then the amount of pressure on the pedals is the input variable and speed is the controlled variable. The two different types of control systems are open loop control system or non-feedback control system and the closed loop control system or feedback control system. Let's see about the open loop control system first. The block diagram here represents the open loop control system or non-feedback control system. An input signal or command is applied to the controller whose output acts as the actuating signal that regulates the control process and drive the control variable to the desired value. To understand this, let's take a living room which is conditioned by a fan coil unit. Consider this FCU works on a time-based temperature control sequence where the chilled water control valve is opened and closed based on defined time interval to maintain the room temperature. In this, defined time schedule is the input to the controller. The actuating signal is the output to open or close the control valve actuator. The control process in this example is the room temperature control and the controlled output is the amount of chilled water that is being fed to the cooling coil. Let's assume the control valve is set to fully open for 30 minutes continuously and to fully close for the next 30 minutes. So the control valve operating cycle is 30 minutes open, 30 minutes close and so on. During the control valve open cycle, the room temperature will be below the desired temperature. And during the control valve close cycle, room temperature will be above the desired temperature. As it is impossible to calculate the amount of time required to keep the control valve open or close to achieve the desired temperature due to external interferences such as outside temperature, varying chilled water temperature, etc. It is clear that the desired room temperature cannot be achieved with this type of control system due to inaccuracy in adapting to external interferences and the unavailability of any feedback signal to the control system to compare with the desired space temperature. Another classic example of this open loop control system is a washing machine. The washing machine operation is entirely depending on the amount of time set by the operator. It is obvious that the clothes may be or may not be cleaned thoroughly as there is no feedback to the washing machine about the cleanliness of the clothes. Closed loop control system. What is missing in the open loop control system for more accurate and adaptable control is a link of feedback from the output of the system to the input of the controller. In order to obtain more accurate control, the control process must be fed back and compared with the reference input. 
then the controller will decide how much actuating signal is required to achieve the desired output. The controller will actuate the signal till the error becomes negligible. A control system with one or more feedback is called the closed loop control system or feedback control system. Let's go through the same example of maintaining the room temperature by actuating the chilled water control valve using a closed loop control system. A room temperature sensor is provided as a feedback to the controller to calculate the error between the desired temperature and the actual room temperature. Now, the controller can decide how much the chilled water control valve to be opened in order to maintain the desired room temperature. The controller will actuate the control valve to eliminate the error. As the controller gets a real-time feedback of the room temperature, accurate and stable control can be achieved with this closed loop control system. Human beings are probably the most complex and sophisticated feedback system with many inputs and outputs. Let's consider our objective is to reach for a book on a shelf. As we reach our hands towards the shelf to get the book, the brain signals a hand to perform the task. The eyes act as a sensing device which feedbacks the position of the hand and the book to the brain continuously. The brain then calculates the error which is the distance between the book and the hand and signals the hand to reach more till the book is reached. In this case, the brain is the control system and the eyes acts as a feedback element. The concept of feedback plays an important role in the closed loop control system. Without the feedback, a control system would not be able to achieve the accuracy and reliability of complex systems. Some of the main differences between the open loop control system and the closed loop control systems are shown here. Like we saw earlier, open loop control systems are independent of the output as feedback path is not present. Also, open loop control systems are easy to design and economical. Open loop control systems are very rarely used as it is inaccurate. On the other hand, the closed loop control systems are dependent of the output as the feedback path is present. Also, closed loop control systems are costlier and difficult to design as it provides accurate results. That's all for today's video. Control system is a vast topic. Understanding this basic concept is very important in the automation control system. I hope you guys have learned something useful from this and thanks a lot for watching this video. If you have any suggestion or comments, please leave it in the comment section. Also, please like this video, share this video with your friends and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.